everybody and welcome to Baby Rhyme Time. My name is Michaela and I work at the St. Albert Public Library and you can usually find me up at the Jensen Lakes location. I'm so excited to see you all here today. We're going to be singing lots of songs and learning some new rhymes together and just having lots of fun with our babies. Alright, so to get started we are going to start with our hello song and it goes like this. Wave up high, wave down low, Tansy friends we say hello. Here we meet on Treaty 6 for stories, songs, and finger tricks. Wave up high, wave down low, Tansy friends we say hello. Hi everybody! All right, so today we are going to be talking and singing all about different body parts. So for babies especially, um, they're still trying to learn language and decode words and learn what words mean. So when you're singing about different body parts, it's a great idea to touch the body parts that you are talking about um, when you say the word during your song. So for example, if you're doing head, shoulders, knees, and toes, we'll go head and shoulders, knees, and toes into every word we're touching the body part that we're saying and this is a really great way for babies to learn that all of their different body parts have names and what those names are. So to start I have a song called Gingerbread Man and this is a really great song to actually do face to face with your baby but I'm going to start with my baby facing out um, just so that you can see all the actions first. So it goes like this. Mix and stir and pat the pan I'm gonna make a gingerbread man with a nose so neat and a smile so sweet and some gingerbread shoes on the gingerbread feet. And this is a great song to end with a little tickle on the feet as well. So let's do that one more time. Mix and stir and pat the pan. I'm gonna make a gingerbread man with a nose so neat and a smile so sweet and some gingerbread shoes on that gingerbread feet. Okay, so we're gonna do that song one more time, but this time I'm just gonna have my baby laying in front of me just like this. Mix and stir and pat the pan. I'm gonna make a gingerbread man with a nose so neat and a smile so sweet and some gingerbread shoes on the gingerbread feet. Great job everybody. Um, so when you're singing with your baby they're actually learning a lot of different skills like memorization and listening. And when you're singing, often the language is slowed down so they can hear different parts of the word, which helps them to decode the language a little bit better. So this next song is another slow one that has lots of different body parts in it. And it's also a fun one because there's a spot that you can insert your own baby's name. And so my baby here, her name is Caitlin, and that's the name we'll be using during the song. But feel free to substitute it for your own baby's name. All right, so it goes like this. These are Caitlin's fingers, and these are Caitlin's toes. Here is Caitlin's belly button. Round and round it goes. So let's try that once more. These are Caitlin's fingers, and these are Caitlin's toes. Here is Caitlin's belly button. Round and round it goes. So this would be a really cool one to do either in the bathtub, or if you're washing hands or anything like that. So we're gonna do it once more and this time I'm going to lay my baby in front of me on my lap like this. It goes like this. These are Caitlin's fingers and these are Caitlin's toes. Here is Caitlin's belly button. Round and round it goes. Great job everybody. All right, so the next song I have is one that you're probably already familiar with, but it's a really fun one to do with babies, and it's called Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes. It goes like this. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. So if you're doing head and shoulders, you can do it with your baby facing away, but if you do do it with your baby, 
uh, face to face. When you get to the eyes, ears, mouth and nose part, it's a great idea to not only touch your baby's face, but also point to it on your face so that they can kind of start to connect that their body parts are the same as yours. So let's try it once more. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Great job everybody. We're gonna sing it once more all together. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Okay, that was great. So when you're singing to your baby, they are taking in a lot of different language. Babies learn the most by hearing their parents speak. And by hearing their parents speak and sing a lot, they're starting to piece together what the different parts of words are. Um, so the more that you talk to your baby, the more that you sing to your baby, the faster they're going to pick up the language. All right, so I have one more song to sing, and this is a really great one for if you're watching your baby's face, because it's all about the face. And it's called The Moon. And so again, I'm going to um, have my baby facing out, but it does definitely work better if you're face to face with your baby and it goes like this. The moon is round, as round as can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, like me. All right, so we're gonna do that again, but this time I'm going to have my baby sit and face me um, so that they can see my face as well. The moon is round, as round as can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, like me. All right, we're gonna do that one more time all together. The moon is round, as round as can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, like me. That was great, everybody. Right, so we only have time for one more song today, and this is our goodbye song, and it goes like this. Wave up high, wave down low, little friends, it's time to go. We had lots of fun today, the stories, songs, and finger plays. Wave up high, wave down low, Little friends, it's time to go. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining in for Baby Rhyme Time today. And hopefully we'll see you next week, Monday at 10 a.m. for a new Baby Rhyme Time. If you're looking for more information or storybooks to read to your children, check out our e-resources online at sapl.ca. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for more information about upcoming programs. See you soon.